What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to take a look at DLT trading because it's legitimately been over a month since I've done this and they have a ton of new stuff. If you want to sit here with me and hear my comments on new arrivals and stuff that's coming soon, restocks, sit around. Should be a good time. If not, I will link these pages right down below in the description for you guys to check out on your own. Totally get it. No worries. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex and on TikTok at the underscore metal underscore complex. Why are you wearing the same outfit that you wore yesterday? Because both of these videos were recorded back to back and they're just scheduled at different times. Um, let's, uh, I think maybe we should probably check out the new arrivals first. Let's do that. Uh, wow, okay, there's Skinner sitting here. I love that. Now, admittedly, the Skinner, the XM18 three and a half inch, right? A lot of people could say that's just your opinion. No. As a longtime Hinderer fan, somebody who has watched the Hinderer specific market go up and down and more and less availability, I can tell you factually, the Skinner is the least popular blade shape. So that's one of the elements contributing to the fact that these are still hit, sitting here. I have no doubt that eventually they'll sell. But another element is the fact that DLT and other retailers are able to order these things in larger batches. And as time has gone on and also... You know, people don't necessarily have the budget right now, like not as many people have the budget for a $425 knife. Most people don't anyway. But as time goes on, demand has gone down, supply has gone up, and many, many retailers have been able to supply people with the hinderer that they wanted, just the one and only hinderer, right? So these things, these things don't get bought up as much, which is good for people who kind of want to take their time and figure out, you know, hey, do I want a hinderer? That's great. A lot of you might remember, um, was it like pre-2019, pre-2018? Hinders did sit at retailers. They were in high demand. Rick had caught up with production. You could just kind of casually browse your favorite retailer and look around at their hinder supply. This is how we want it, right? We don't want the secondary market pumping the value of this through the roof, right? I have tons of hinder knives, and I could care less if their value goes down on the secondary market. What I want is the ability to look around and be like, do I want one? What do they have available? This is great. This is good. This is what we should all want, right? Um, except for people who flip knives and who cares about them. Uh, <laughs> the Medford Antic. A lot of Medford stuff is really running together for me. Um, uh, he's made some cool knives in the past. I'm just like a lot of the new stuff I'm just uninterested in. This yellow and black combat Troodon is super cool. It doesn't surprise me at all. They probably only got two of these. One serrated and one clean. This yellow, whoever got this yellow and black one, like, congrats. Um, not super into big fixed blades, but got to be honest, this big choppy boy is kind of neat. I love that MSIs are just available. Man, whoever snagged this, God, that is so cool. I would have bought this in a heartbeat. I would have bought that in a heartbeat, man. That is so cool. I love that. That is the most scarab-looking scarab I have ever seen. 500 bucks well spent to whoever got that. Uh, I do like all of these um, MSIs being available. Pick up one of these injectionable plastic ones and throw some custom scales on from Original Goat. Links down in the description. It'll make it awesome. Uh, somebody else got these other two scarabs. There's still some scarab 2 Gen 3s here. Uh, this guy right here, if you like black and serrated, right? We have a double serrated uh, combo uh, regular edge or plain edge uh, mini Hera sitting there that's kind of neat um, I guess if you're you know if you're into that kind of thing <laughs> no surprise there the Les George MK3 so this is the type of knife like if you're watching my content right now and you're like who would ever spend four hundred and fifty dollars on a knife I just don't understand. That's fine that you don't understand it, but it's because you're probably not super familiar with this community. This is the type of knife that I will let people know about on the community tab and say, hey, listen, these are going to go. So if you want these, like you better pick them up. And I just didn't because I was like, man, it's not even worth it uh, to see like uh, the comments. This is the, these are the, the types of knives like the MK3 and Magnica, which is super cool, by the way. You post it and then you get somebody who... There's nothing wrong with being new. It's new people with in ridiculous assumptions, right? And they complain. It's too much just a pocket knife. And it's like, yeah, well, it's okay. They're not for everybody. 
but they're going to go. So the whole reason for the community post is, hey, for the people who are aware of what this is and are actually shopping in this territory, these are going to be available. You should try and pick one up because they're going to go. Well, here they are, gone a day later, right? Just just like I assumed. That kind of stuff is the stuff I like to post in the community tab um, because some people, not everybody, not the vast majority, but some people are specifically looking for these things. To the people who pick these up, especially this one, congratulations. That is awesome. Uh, that's a pretty rare one, actually. Uh, the Les George MK3 with the FDE blade. Um, really, really cool. I'm jealous of that one, actually. So, nice score. Uh, no surprise, all the XOUs are gone. Guarantee you those will come back. Guarantee you. That's a sick one. Mine is blue. Uh, mine actually doesn't look like any of these. Mine's just blue. The whole thing is blue. Uh, small Sabenzas, meh. Doesn't surprise me that every retailer on earth has tons of small Sabenzas. Those just really aren't super popular. I don't know anything about the video. They have tigers. If you've been looking for a tiger, probably the coolest one here is this guy. These have Zerkatai pivot collars. Uh, big, thick, robust. It is as riot as you could ever as you could ever want. The, the tiger is awesome. Not everybody's going to want to drop 425 bucks on a knife, uh, but that does have the extra. That does have, um, you know, the extra spice, the extra sauce that we look for when we're comparing with other high-end Chinese production knives, right? It's just carbon fiber, titanium, and M390. Uh, it is not executed the same way as that $200 territory. I don't love a $425 price tag, but I think 375 to 400 yeah, would have been perfect. Super nice knife, though, definitely. Uh, are these, yeah, more 3.5 inch skinners. These have probably been here for just a bit. There's even some eclipses. If you want my suggestion, the, fine. If you love the skinner blade, fine. But the eclipse is, it, it's a, truthfully, it is a superior design to the XM18. And it was meant to literally eclipse the XM18. It was meant as an evolution. That was the original design. The flipper tab is a better shape. It is more ergonomic, and some people think it looks cooler. Uh, it also uses a lot of the same hardware. Not exactly the same hardware, but a lot of the same. Um, the Eclipse is awesome. And these are in S45VN, which in my opinion is the best blade steel that Hinderer offers. Um, a lot of people will say their 20CV is a little soft. It's industry standard Peter C. Treat 5961. But it is not very well suited either way. Even if it was 62, 63, it's not suited for this type of knife. S45VN makes way more sense anyway. And to my knowledge, they're hitting those numbers correctly. So if you're considering picking up a hinder, pick up the Eclipse. It's awesome. Uh, we got a Amphibian Tanfluta G10 sitting there. Combat Troodons. These new Combat Troodons are awesome. Don't sleep on them. Uh, mine has never failed, and I've easily fired it 500 times. The Hera, on the other hand, that's the one that has a little bit of bounce to it. Woo, boy, that is a cool one right there. I love that. Oh, natural clear handle. That is super cool. Love it. Awesome. I bet that'll wear in super well. That'll look nice over time. I also like that two-tone. Um, boy, man, though, I'll tell you what. If I was going to pick one up right now, it'd be this guy. Super cool. I love that blue. This will probably wear off. Uh, it, they don't say what it is. I bet that is probably slightly more durable than paint. It does look cool. That's more of a collector thing. I'm mean, you, you can use it. It'll, it'll work just fine, but that blue is going to come off, right? A uh, bunch of combat drones. They got another one there in the dagger. I'd pick up that one. If you're going with the natural, like the dagger blade, if you're going to go with an OTF, go with a double edge, right? You get, you literally get double the edge retention. Even if the, the blade geometry is not as good as a single edge, or if you can't put your thumb up there on the blade, I think the trade-off, the fact that you have two complete edges, I think that's better. That's just my opinion. The Vehement K2, uh, definitely one of the better looking fixed blades out there, specifically that one right there. It is very, oh no, it's not that. It's one, are they, do they have any of the really hyper reflective ones left? No, but that's still, these are really nice. I, I really like how those look. They just look so cozy. CRKT card. They got these back and all say, man, if they would just change this, like the M16 to something else. Can you imagine like a 14C28N version of this for 50, for, for like 75 bucks? 
Oh my god, take my money. I want a reason to pick one of these up again. The action, I assume, still sucks, but I just love that knife. It's such a cool, it's such an iconic knife, right? Tons of uh, uh, Protex. Is this S35VN? That's the one you want. S35VN. Or if they ever make them in CPM 154 again, I would go with that, right? Why is this a staff pick? Staff just really likes baby food color. <laughs> oh, boy. Leatherman Skeletal. No, pass. It's. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. I just don't really like how it looks. The Sharp by Design. Uh, the Richo. So, here's what I love. Everybody corrected. I told you. I told you guys. I said, I'm going to mispronounce this. And everyone was like, oh, it's, uh, it's actually a weather pattern. I. It's fine. I'm, not, I'm making fun of you, but you guys are probably right. What I thought was hilarious, everybody corrected me, but there were so many different variations of how I was supposed to pronounce this. The fact is, most of you who corrected me don't know. Only a few of you were probably right, but there were there were actually so many different people who told me how to pronounce this. <laughs> I can go on Google and just look up the pronunciation, but I won't because I think it's funny to read people's different interpretations on how it's supposed to be pronounced, right? Everybody assumes they're right, but... If you're all telling me different pronunciations, you're you're all, you know, most of you are factually wrong. It's only a few of you who are and going to end up being correct. There's only one pronunciation. I just thought that was really funny. Um, I have one of these, and it looks just like this. It's awesome. This has the special lipped detent, right? The blade shape's pretty wild. It is a lot bigger than I thought. It says 8.375. It feels, um, it actually feels bigger than that. I thought it was a little guy. It's not. Not a little guy. Best X Swordfish. Boy, that is a really popular name. Uh, we got the Best X Swordfish. We got the Remet Swordfish. We got the... There's another one. I don't know. And there's at least one more here recently. I'm sure there's like 40 knives in history that have been named the Swordfish. But yeah, that's a popular keyword right now. Heretic Nix Prototype. What? What? That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Look at you. Look at Heretic Fix in their pocket clips to not look like ball sacks anymore. Wow! Oh, love that. That's cool. Oh boy. Oh boy, I need this in my life. Not for 11. This is a prototype. It's custom. But when they come out with the production version of it, yeah, I'll buy that. Heck yeah, man. That looks great. I love that. The Nyx blade that channels the mystique and power of the goddess of night. Wait, hold on. I agree with the fact that it's capable of channeling the mystique. But it factually cannot uh, channel the power of the goddess of night for two reasons. One... Because the god the goddess of night is more than likely a fictional character, and two, if she were not a fictional character, uh, how does it channel her power? You mean like you can hold it in the air and cast like lightning three or whatever? What powers does it night? You can cast shadow or you know cool air. <laughs> what, what what do you mean? Who wrote this? Channel the channel the mystique and power of the goddess of night. Good lord. Hold on, I'm going to read the rest of it. The Nyx is a formidable companion for any nocturnal adventure. You can't use it in the daytime. <laughs> That's formidable. If you if you uh, are uh, met with an adversary, if you cross paths with an adversary wielding the Nyx, again, apparently a vessel for the, the power of the goddess of night, well, you have met your end, good sir. You will not survive. The Nyx is a formidable companion for any nocturnal adventure. So is literally anything that you bring with you at night. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> that's such a generic statement. Whether you're navigating the shadows. <laughs> oh, they're joking around. They're joking around with this. <laughs> navigating the shadows. It's just like a guy in the dark going, oh, oh, good thing I have my Nyx with me. Or exploring the unknown gets so vague. Oh, they definitely are just having fun with this. Let the Nyx be your guide through the darkness. 
Let your next be let the next be your guide through the darkness. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, whether whether the heretic guys wrote that or DLT wrote that, they were clearly having fun with it. That made me laugh. <laughs> Oh, man, that's great. Okay. <laughs> I'm crying. Um, the Navo. Oh, yeah, the Navo is really good. That's a great price for that knife, too. That's one of Wii's better price knives. I still don't like that they're hitting that at 59 to 61 because the geometry is right for 20 CV. Um, Microtech Glycon. Why does that look so ch fat and short? Is that the little one? Has to be. No. Why does this look so squished? Uh, it looks like a tiny one. Which, if they don't do, they should. Maybe it's because it's it's angled. Why does it look like a little fat boy version of it? Um, hmm. You know who I love that's just like a name we don't see anymore? Is Melvin Lozado. Lazat Is it Lozada? Yeah, Lozada. So, um, this guy used to make like crazy thick folders. And his work was a lot more popular. I think he just, like, didn't make stuff for a while. Um, or his stuff has always just not been on some of the more major retailers like DLT. Now, I've never handled one, but there's something about his style that I really like. And I definitely like this magic rainbow blade here. What do we have? It's some sort of Damascus that's, like, hot blued or something. I don't know. Really cool, though. Uh, obviously not a stainless. It's I would guess it's not a stainless composition both you know i maybe there's three compositions to get that type of color usually not stainless but really cool though and there's a couple of them in here those are custom those are fully handmade as far as i know automatic socom elite still sitting there uh what else we got <laughs> this looks like a combat open l <laughs> Um, I'm sure it's fine. I don't know anything about the company. It's like 46 bucks, so knock yourself out. Textured brass scale for the Eclipse. There you go. If you want to build a, a cool Eclipse, they do have a brass scale sitting there. Um, Hinder Kabars are still sitting there. Some of the less popular color combos. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I'm still stuffed up. Praetorian GTs, no thanks. Not for 600 bucks. No. Get you a Praetorian T, as those are going to be the best feeling of value. We Vision R's, just sitting there. I have this exact one right here, and it is awesome. Awesome. Great price from Wii as well. Uh, Subjugator. How big are those? How big a boy are you? 7.9. Okay. I was hoping I'd say I'd see it was 8.5. That's what I was hoping to see, but that's okay. I'm glad that DLT picked up Wii. I know they are like a big USA, you know, uh, retailer. But I think it's cool they picked up Wii. These two still sitting here, this, the Mini Buster. They're not mini. These are some of the coolest knives that Wii has ever made. You'll be impressed with this. It's eight inches, three and a half inch blade, roughly. Really, really nice knife. And very, very obviously different than what Wii normally creates. Don't sleep on that one. It's really good. Let's go to... See what they're dropping soon. These are in stock. These are in stock. Rife F5 looks like a good knife. Melvin Lozada Raptor 3.5. Those are available. These are available. These just sold out. No surprise there. Okay. So nothing super, super duper crazy coming soon. Let's go to, um, you have to go back here and then go to restocks. Spyderco Military 2 and S110V. No, no. Flashlights, that's fine. The Olight uh, i3, that looks pretty nice for 12 bucks. Um, resilience in s 35 n fine, but it's just too much. It's too much for that. Oh, uh, my! That's I own this. My wife gave this to me for um, one of our anniversaries. This is I love this. Such a beautiful Spyderco. I do recommend changing the pocket clip, which has a hole from the factory that doesn't line up. It's just like the standard clip. It doesn't line up with the hole. It's such a goof up. You can buy an MXG clip for 15 bucks. It's worth it. This is a this is an awesome EDC, and it is a it's a VG10 core Damascus 
really great. I love mine. It's super classy. I like to wear it on dinner dates. That took the Delica four by itself is whatever. It's a man knife, but this version of it is awesome. You're saying that because your wife got it for you for a gift. Shut up. You don't know me. You don't know my life. Is that it? What? Man, their restock page is shallow now. Okay. Look at this. Antler. <laughs> Nothing against this company, but... Oh, man. Historians have found that D Damascus steel, formerly known as Wood steel, originated in Asia over 2,000 years ago. Don't be that guy who's like, actually, it's not Damascus. It's uh, the um, original Damascus was referred to as Woots, and uh, how they created it, uh, the recipe, is factually lost to time. Don't be that guy. The reason we all just have set, started to say Damascus is not because we don't know. It's because it's, it's just like, it's why I made that meme on Instagram. It's because it takes so long to explain it every single time, right? You're not teaching anybody, right? But if you didn't know, yeah, uh, the reason that nobody cares is because we've studied it. We've studied Woots and tons of different variations of it extensively. Uh, Laren Thomas broke a Woots blade apart, looked at it. We have the technology to determine what it is. And it turns out it was probably really great back then, but it is factually inferior to everything we have now. Modern, you know, high performance, because there's very many different types of uh, modern pattern welded Damascus. There's the crap stuff you can buy on Amazon, or there's the incredibly performance oriented stuff you can buy from companies like Damasteel, right, and various others. But the best stuff that we have now is so vastly superior to Woots. Don't let anybody tell you that this is magical stuff and oh, the wizards kept the secret in the mountain and the master bladesmiths that, you know, they can cut fighter jets in half with their woots sort no it's just old stuff that was really cool back then right i mean the first car like in 1913 i'm pretty sure that rickety old thing was like a spaceship to people back then oh my gosh nowadays it's like yeah it's a thing that like it's just a really old car you know like I just, there's no, the this whole like weird legend, people always do that. Woot Steel. If you didn't know, let me tell you the legend of Woot Steel. Shut up. It's just nobody wants to, it's not, it, we, it's been studied. We already know. Why, the only mystery is maybe precisely how they made it. That's a little bit of a mystery, but not really important, right? It's not like we are like trying to like crack the code of Woots. And as soon as we crack the code of Woots, we can like bring back this legendary, you know, in superior material and implement it on the current knife market and evolve every, no. We're like, yeah, some old stuff was great then, but it's crap now. You know, like that's, sorry. If I, if, if that was like sail in your boat, if that was the wind in your sails and I took it away, sorry, but you gotta know, right? People got to know. At the same time, though, I'm no expert, and you definitely would be doing yourself a favor by going and um, reading uh, Lar Laren's article, or I can't remember if he did a video on that or not, but Laren Thomas, an actual metallurgist and not, you know, just somebody with a keyboard, uh, you know, in, in a Reddit form or whatever, um, has done an extensive study on this. So I would recommend that you go and watch that. <laughs> that was a weird, sarcastic, preachy end to a DLT shopping tour. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's all I have for you today, guys. Um, this was fun. Glad to do it. Check out DLT Trading, new arrivals, and um, uh, you know, coming soon to DLT. Links in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.